Nose Anatomy and Physiology The nose is a prominent facial feature and a vital organ responsible for several important functions, including breathing, smelling, and filtering the air we inhale. Its anatomy is complex and consists of various structures that work together to perform these functions. Here's an overview of the anatomy of the nose. External Nose The external nose is the visible part of the nose that protrudes from the face. It is primarily composed of bone and cartilage. The bridge of the nose is formed by the nasal bones, while the flexible lower part of the nose is made of cartilage. The external nose is covered by skin and is lined with hair follicles to trap dust and debris. Nostrils, nares. The nostrils, also known as nares, are the openings on the lower part of the external nose. Air enters the nasal passages through these openings. Nasal septum. The nasal septum is a wall of cartilage and bone that divides the nasal cavity into two halves, creating a left and right side. It helps to support the structure of the nose and maintain its shape. Nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is the space inside the nose, separated by the nasal septum. It is lined with a specialized mucous membrane called the respiratory epithelium. The respiratory epithelium contains tiny hair-like structures called cilia, which help trap dust and particles, as well as mucous glands that produce mucus to moisten and filter the air. The nasal cavity also contains blood vessels that help warm the air as it enters. Conchi, turbinates. The nasal conchi, or turbinates, are bony structures covered in mucous membrane that extend into the nasal cavity. There are three pairs of nasal conchi in the human skull. Superior nasal conchi, superior turbinates, these are the smallest and highest located conchi. They are part of the ethmoid bone. Middle nasal conchi, middle turbinates, these are the largest and most prominent conchi. They are also part of the ethmoid bone. Inferior nasal conchi, inferior turbinates, they are separate bones located in the lateral walls of the nasal cavity. The function of the nasal conchi is to help humidify, filter, and warm the air as it passes through the nasal cavity making it more suitable for the respiratory system. They also play a role in directing airflow within the nasal passages. Paranasal sinuses There are four pairs of paranasal sinuses surrounding the nasal cavity, the frontal, maxillary, ethmoid, and sphenoid sinuses. These air-filled cavities are connected to the nasal cavity and help reduce the weight of the skull and add resonance to the voice. Olfactory epithelium. Located high in the nasal cavity, the olfactory epithelium contains specialized nerve cells called olfactory receptors. These receptors are responsible for the sense of smell and allow humans to detect various odors. Blood supply. The nose receives its blood supply from branches of the internal and external carotid arteries. Nerves. The trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve V, provides sensory innervation to the nasal cavity and controls reflexes such as sneezing. The physiological functions of the nose are essential for maintaining respiratory and overall health. The nose plays several crucial roles in the human body. Air filtration. The nose acts as a natural air filter. As air enters the nasal passages, it encounters tiny hair-like structures called cilia and mucus-producing cells. These structures work together to trap and remove dust, allergens, bacteria, and other particulate matter from the inhaled air. Humidification The nasal passages contain mucus glands that produce a thin layer of moisture, mucus. This moisture helps humidify the dry air as it enters the respiratory system, preventing the delicate lung tissues from drying out. Temperature regulation. The nasal passages also serve to warm or cool the inhaled air to near body temperature. 
This temperature regulation helps protect the lungs from temperature extremes and ensures that the air is comfortable for the respiratory system. Olfaction, sense of smell. The nose is home to the olfactory epithelium, a specialized tissue responsible for detecting and identifying odors. When odor molecules enter the nasal passages and bind to olfactory receptors, they trigger nerve signals that enable the sense of smell. Airway protection. The nose helps protect the lower respiratory tract by trapping and removing harmful particles from the air. This function reduces the risk of respiratory infections and irritations. Respiration. The primary function of the nose is to facilitate respiration. It provides a passageway for air to travel from the external environment into the lungs. The nasal passages are lined with blood vessels that help warm and humidify the air before it reaches the lungs, making it more suitable for the respiratory system. Nasal reflexes. The nose is involved in various reflexes that help protect the respiratory system. For example, the sneezing reflex is initiated when irritants or pathogens are detected in the nasal passages. Sneezing expels these irritants to prevent them from entering the lower respiratory tract. Speech resonance. The nasal passages play a role in speech and vocalization. Sound waves generated by the vocal cords resonate in the nasal cavities and contribute to the richness and timbre of human speech. Pressure equalization. The middle ear is connected to the nasal cavity through a narrow tube known as the eustachian tube. The nose helps regulate air pressure in the middle ear, which is essential for hearing and maintaining equilibrium. Overall, the nose's physiological functions are vital for maintaining a healthy respiratory system, protecting the body from harmful substances, facilitating the sense of smell, and contributing to vocalization and communication. Proper nasal function is crucial for overall well-being, and any issues or conditions that affect the nose's functions should be addressed promptly. Common illnesses and conditions related to the nose include Common cold The common cold is a viral infection that affects the upper respiratory tract, including the nose. It causes symptoms such as a runny or stuffy nose, sneezing, sore throat, and cough. Sinusitis Sinusitis is the inflammation or infection of the sinuses which are air-filled cavities around the nasal passages. It can result in symptoms like facial pain, pressure, congestion, and thick nasal discharge. Allergic rhinitis Also known as hay fever, allergic rhinitis occurs when the immune system overreacts to allergens such as pollen, dust mites, or pet dander. Symptoms include sneezing, itching, a runny nose, and congestion. Nasal polyps. Nasal polyps are non-cancerous growths that can develop in the nasal passages or sinuses. They can cause congestion, a reduced sense of smell, and a runny nose. Nasal congestion. Nasal congestion can result from various factors, including infections, allergies, and environmental irritants. It causes difficulty in breathing through the nose and may lead to discomfort and snoring. Nosebleeds, epistaxis. Nosebleeds can occur due to dry air, nasal injuries, or underlying medical conditions. They typically involve bleeding from one nostril and can range from mild to severe. Rhinosinusitis, rhinitis, and sinusitis. Rhinosinusitis is a combination of rhinitis, inflammation of the nasal lining, and sinusitis. It can be caused by viral or bacterial infections, allergies, or other factors. Deviated septum. A deviated septum occurs when the nasal septum, the wall that separates the two nostrils, is crooked or displaced. It can lead to breathing difficulties, nasal congestion, and recurrent sinus infections. Foreign body in the nose. 
children may occasionally insert small objects into their noses, leading to blockage and discomfort. This requires medical attention to remove the foreign body safely. It's important to seek medical attention or consult with a healthcare professional if you experience persistent or severe symptoms related to your nose or nasal passages. Proper diagnosis and treatment are essential to manage these conditions effectively.